Hey, it's Tracy. Have you ever seen a project or see something so cute and you're like, man, I wish I could create that or write like that or whatever. I am going to show you how to create something on your computer and using graphite paper where you can transfer patterns onto almost any surface. So I'm going to show you how you can recreate this Give Thanks banner for yourself. Okay, I have a MacBook, so I'm working with pages, and so I'm just going to go up to uh, a shape and insert a square. I'm going to change the size to 2.0 and then the height to 2.25, and then I am going to insert text, and I'm going to choose Love Letters. It is a free font, so I'll leave that in the description below if you would like that. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to determine what size of letters I am going to need. So I put a G and then I will see what size I'm going to need. I did the T to make sure that it will fit as well. If um, I don't like the height, I can go over to the right hand side or wherever your font size is, I can go ahead and readjust the size. And so then I'm just going to go ahead and type give thanks and I'm going to print that out on my computer and then that will be my template to use with my graphite paper. All right, this is what I'm using for this banner. I have these little um, chipboard banners that I got. Um, always check the clearance section at Hobby Lobby because that's where I found these. Um, little pennant banners. I'm using some burlap, a two and a half inch burlap. And I think I just got this roll at Hobby Lobby. It's just really nice and thick and I'm going to glue that on those little chipboard banners just like that. I'm going to leave some of it um, for the back because that's where my twine is going to go. And these are my scissors. I'm going to cut those with. These are really sharp. They are the Tim Holtz um, scissors. I'm using this canvas. Uh, I just bought it off of the roll at, um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's like a canvas or a duck cloth, something like that. And so I'm just, I, what, what made me think of this project is I, painted I was just going to paint on the canvas or the duck cloth um, but then I thought well how about if I print it and I will show you how to use the graphite paper to trace it that if you find a font that you like that you can um, create it yourself so this is graphite paper you can get it online or you can also get it in like the um, art supply section of the craft store and so it's just a sheet of Tra basically it's just a tracing it has it will transfer um, onto any project and so I love 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 using this for projects like this it has a dull side um, and this is the side that you will write on you always write on the dull side and then it also has a shiny side and that is the actual graphite right there and that is what will transfer onto your actual project Uh, here is my gift thanks that I printed out just from my computer and I'm going to use a ballpoint pen because I need uh, that to uh, trace over those letters onto my project. I need something that's going to, you know, give me a nice line and so I just use a ballpoint pen and it's going to transfer onto my canvas or my duck cloth so then I can paint it. Okay, just cutting off the fabric, I am just going to use that one little um, square that I have as a template. Uh, it is two inches by 2.25, and so I'm just going to hold that up to my fabric. That's just the easiest for me, but you do it however you want it. If you want to cut it with scissors or cut it with a trimmer, a rotary cutter, whatever you'd like to do, but um, just cut each, um, cut enough for each one of your little banners. Okay, I had this X-Acto um, little mat. It's a pretty hard mat. And I cut out my Give Thanks, but now I've decided I'm going to cut them individual letters. And so 
that is uh, that way I can center them on my little canvas square and um, I can just kind of see through that graphite paper just a little bit so that uh, I can center it the best. Okay, and then you kind of see that um, using that graphite paper, it just gives it almost kind of like a pencil, uh, a tracing pencil, and so then now I can paint them. I'm going to be using some brown Americana Espresso paint um, with my paintbrush, but you could also use a brown marker, or you could use a Sharpie marker, um, or something like that. I'm sorry I didn't realize that my camera was not on as I was painting all of the other letters, but um, this is the S, and so I wanted to show you here how I like to do this type of thing, just using a flat paintbrush. I dip uh, and load my brush frequently, and I just follow along the lines of the what the uh, transfer paper, the graphite, um, just transferred onto my fabric. And I just follow the lines, just making the smooth little um, swirls the way that they are. I love this uh, because it gives an, us an opportunity that may not can do it freehand. It gives us an opportunity to, you know, create um, or trace something so that we can get the look that we want if we can't do it freehand. Using that two and a half inch ribbon, um, I am cutting it at five inches because that is what will go on the actual chipboard pennant. And then just using hot glue, I just glued that burlap onto the the um, chipboard pennant. I left about an inch uh, from the top because that's what I will curl over and secure it with my jute twine. And then just using some sharp scissors, I am just going to follow along with my chipboard banner and just cut all of those burlap um, to get those little V's in each one of those banners. All right, now I just want to add a little bit of distressing to the edges of the um, give thanks that I painted. And so I'm going to just use some brown ink to accomplish this, just running it along the um, outside of the um, each one of the letters. Okay, now I have my banner ready to go and I'm just going to hot glue these letters onto the front of my banner. Okay, now it's time to put the pennants on um, the jute or the rope or the string, uh, twine, whatever you have. I'm just using some jute. And um, 
Now, let me remind you when you do this, you have to pay careful attention that you don't do it backwards. I have been known to do that before. So make sure when you lay out your jute that you are putting your letters um, left to right. Um, because otherwise it's it's easier than what you think to to um, get your letters backwards and you're you know you're like oh my gosh what did I do you know been there done that talking about from experience so if you take your time and um, just glue it one by one kind of checking it as you go you're gonna be good Okay, I have a piece of muslin fabric that I'm going to tie on um, here next to the G so that I kind of know uh, spacing wise where I'm going to put my I and then the rest of my letters. To give it an extra pop of fall color, I'm just adding some orange and white gingham fabric, just tying that exactly where I tied the muslin fabric. And so it just all kind of ties it all in together. If you want to get your ties to kind of lay down a little bit better, just spritz a little water on there and uh, just kind of form them down so that they dry and they just kind of all hang there together. Anyway, I just totally love the way my Give Thanks banner turned out this year for my mantle 2016. Um, to attach it, I use the clear command hooks. Um, it doesn't damage my little mantle and um, I can just tie it on the, the little hooks and it works out really good. So anyway, here is my little mantle for fall 2016. I appreciate you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like this video, leave me a comment. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not currently. And um, happy Thanksgiving 2016.